the, the biomechanics is actually how the body moves, how it functions. And so I can see a person walking down the street and I can know exactly what their pain pattern is. And then I know what needs to happen to reduce, to relieve the hyper contractions causing the pain. Wow. Mm -hmm. I would love to have you look at me. <laughs> sure. the next time I see you, I'll tell you. <laughs> we can have a little get together. <laughs> That's right. Well, we need to go see, we need to go visit Pamela in Florida anyway. Yes. I think that's a good idea. Come on down. Trip down there. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I look like a mess because I was doing gardening. So uh, oh, look at you. How cute. We are digging up our front yard. Our yard is a huge amount of plants and flowers. The lady before us didn't have much to do except garden, I don't think. And so she planted <laughs> three fourths of the yard in flowers. And so, the, you know, three fourths of the yard is weeds. So we are taking the front yard back to grass and digging up the hosta and moving them, digging up plants and moving them. And then over the summer, the grass could take over mm -hmm. and uh, the front yard again. Yeah. Nice. I like the backyard to be an oasis of flowers and things, but the front yard is, it's just too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. And then the clear back in a, in our yard, um, in the very clear back, back right? <laughs> clear back, she has another strip of native grasses and flowers and hosta and everything, and that's another another plot to take care of. So yeah, we're just we're just assessing where we want to be in a year with these plants and how badly we want to garden all summer long, and it's it's not. Not there. We don't want to do it all summer long. You're not, I can see that you're not like wrapping your head around doing no. that. No, I like our, I like the flowers, but I don't want to have to do it myself. So right. my two star goal is to have a garden. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> my fun. mine was to have someone come and clean my house. That was one of my goals, and I have somebody, and I absolutely love it. And yeah, it's awesome. still my goal. I'm still waiting for that one. Working on that one. <laughs> oh, is here. How are you doing? All right, you guys, we're going to get started. Welcome, welcome, but, everybody. Are, did you come in first? So you, are you, okay, wait, make you a co-host. A co-host. A co-host, a co-host of me. Make you a co-host. Okay, you guys, let's get started. Anyway, um, hopefully you've had a chance to watch all these compensation videos. They are great. I, uh, Took some time and, and went through them today. Uh, I, some of them I hadn't seen for a while, so I think they've uh, av well only because they've updated them. So the videos that are going on now, they've updated them, which is great to our new compensation. Um, you know, and we're and we're going to talk about that. So hopefully, how many people got to watch the videos and listen to the videos prior to this? Anyone, anyone? Yeah? Raise your hand. Oh, wait, you're muted. You're muted. Oh, oh what'd you say? I watched them once, but it's been, you know, a couple months. So, okay. 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 Um, the thing is, is that in business, you know how to make money, right? You show up for work and you get paid. But in network marketing, it's a little bit different deal. You still have to show up for work right this is this is work it you still have to show up in order to get paid and whatever that looks like um alex has got these great videos on there he went through the quick start bonuses and um so i wanted to talk about that really quick and i think let's see here maybe in a few minutes I'll, i can pull up and share the um the compensation uh page again I'm going to let Pamela talk in a few minutes here. So when Pamela's talking, then I'll get that up. But, um, but anyway, how many of you know that we get 30% on the, um, this is the quick start or the fast start, the quick start bonus. Quick start. Quick start. But how many of you know that you get 26% as your bonus and the four, two to 4% comes on your residual check on the 15th? Okay, I've actually had- I knew they were broken up, up, but I never really knew. Like I knew that there was a reason that something was separate, but I wasn't quite yeah. sure about it, yeah. you know? 
So, and that's a t it, two to four percent. So it's up to 30 percent. Um, now, how many of you know how high? Uh, okay, first of all, you have when you have a sign up a new person, you have 30 days from the day they started. You have 30 days that that if they make, and I've had people do this one or two orders within that 30 days, you get that quick start bonus. However, does anybody know how high they can go before you don't get paid anymore? Pamela's shaking her head. Do you want to share that? Um, yes. Let's see. Hang on. Oh, wait. Is it 750? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Susan, right. So 750 BV. If they go over that, then you don't get any more bonus on that. Does anybody have any questions around that? Okay. But so, that's a really great thing because if you're if you are getting them off to the right start and you're loving on these people and they're starting to use product and they're feeling good, but they say to you, Hey, you know what? I, I think I might need a little extra of, of something. Would is there anything else you could recommend for this? Because I forgot to tell you about this or I didn't put this on my health evaluation. So okay. that's something great to know is that really loving on them for those first 30 days to help them to understand their needs um, benefit to your business, understand that extra income that, you're, that you'll be earning on that quick start bonus. So it's really something to be aware of. Yeah, and you have to know, how can you coach people on how they're gonna make money in this business if you don't know how to make money in this business? And so that's where I think where I was before when I was, because I dabbled in other network marketing companies, I just never really took the time to learn how to make money. And the other thing was, I was like, oh, do I have to do an auto ship? Why do I have to do an auto ship? I don't like auto ships. You guys are just trying to get my money, right? But that's how this business works is people need to be on auto ships. So I think I mentioned this last week. Some of you might not have been on here. How do you make money in this business? Enrolling people and getting them on auto ship, right? Because you're going to get your compens your bonuses, your quick start, your fast start bonuses. You're going to get those. But if they, if they just order one month and next month they don't order, you're not building a residual income. And so you have to be on auto ship in order to understand and help your new person understand why they need to be on auto ship why it's so, so brenda Teresa just brought up an interesting point and she said i just called today to support and they said we do not have to have auto ship to qualify for commissions and that's true however <laughs> the reason auto ship is beneficial is that life gets in the way and so if you don't use the auto ship and what auto ship is considered it's an optional convenience program and so it, it's make sure that you don't miss your order, that you're going to remain consistent with your product, that it's going to come to you. And if you, if you have more than $99 worth of product on your auto ship, that you are going to be able to get your shipping for free. And that was an interesting thing we were talking about is some new features that will be coming out for the website that will show if you're on an auto ship, it'll remind you, oh, by the way, you have $90 on your auto ship. Did you know that with $9 more, your shipping will be for free? And right. so that's a really so, great feature. Yeah. And I love, I love, it's kind of a love hate relationship on that because I'm glad that they did that. But here's the thing you don't want your people going, oh, shoot, did I miss my auto ship? I was going to call it in. Well, guess what? You know, they, I had this happen just last month and one of my people, he had like several people under him ordering. He was out of town. He forgot to do his auto ship. And I guess it's okay if people like to leave money on the table, but that also, you know, it makes it hard for you to build a business if people are just wishy-washy about if they're going to do auto ship or not. Now, if they're a customer, that might not be so bad. But as a business builder, they have to be on auto ship. Oh, Pamela, go ahead. I keep um, a, a, a made um, spreadsheet 
Okay, you're shows, weird, but go ahead. I am weird. I have this spreadsheet that shows all of the orders that are made every month, every day, for from the time that I've been here, so that I can see from month to month, day to day, what usually I can expect to have for volume. And so if I see something come up or I see somebody's order that you, and I have it by legs too. So I have it for my whole team and then I have it by each individual, individual leg. You're laughing at me. Are you? I, no, I'm not. I'm <laughs> amazed by you. Okay, so um, I can't take credit. It was actually created by Deb Brookshin and she loaned it to me. She gave it to me and I made it, then I was able to use it myself. So, but, um, but I can say that I use it religiously mm. and it does help because there are people on my team that if a, if a credit card expires, it won't, the auto ship, you know, you don't know, it'll try to go through and it won't go through, but it will remain there just not having gone through. So then if you, if you say to them, Hey, by the way, I just wanted to let you know, D that your auto ship didn't go through. It usually goes through on the 14th of the month and I didn't see it today. Oh, it should have gone through. I'm expecting my stuff. I'm out of whatever. Okay. Well then let's figure this out. Oh, my credit card. I got a new credit card this month. And so that must be it. So sometimes I'll help them call customer service on a three-way call or they can call directly, but it's easy. And then customer services, oh yeah, I'll go put that through. And they put it through as if it happened on that particular day mm -hmm. uh, without a hitch. But it's great to keep your hands on to see what's going on. And as your team gets bigger and bigger, it's not something that you can just manage easily. You need to kind of really be on top of it to know of, of what to expect. So I, I think it's a, it's a wise thing to do just to keep that track, you know? No, I totally agree. And I look, you know, I know that when my, my personal order goes through kind of where my, which is like on the 20th or something like that, but I know where my, um, you know, back office is going to be, who's, who's qualifying and who's not. And so I pay attention to that and she's right. And so how do you know if you don't understand how the comp plan works? Because I tell you what, I call the guy and I go, look, you've got like a ton of volume under you. And if you just ordered 200 instead of 150, you know, you'd be getting two more or one more level that you haven't been, you know, weren't able to reach. And he was so appreciative about that. So you got to, you know, people um, love that and paying attention to that. Okay. So the other thing is ranks. We talked a little bit about ranks and I do have my chart up. So I'm going to screen share that really uh right now and uh alex did a great job on ranking and so I, you know it's funny because i'm a two star and when i became a stu two star we only went to five star <laughs> and so i was you know a lot of people that are you know two three four star you know five star was our top now we've got a, a bunch more so that just gives us more to strive for but can you guys see my screen now Okay, cool. I could top that. Dr. Corey told me that when he came in, one star was the top rank. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I believe Ooh, that. Right? <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. You know, and so it, you know, for, for us, it just gives us something else to strive for. Like Tom always says, they had to come up with a big car bonus so he would work some more. Um, and mm -hmm. so whatever it takes, right. I'm reading the uh, book by uh, Brendan Bouchard they uh high performance habits anyway so i'm excited about that i just got done with the leader the john maxwell one and uh, i'm rereading that as well but anyway i'm going to be better i don't care what it takes i'm if i got to read 50 flipping books girlfriends and boyfriends <laughs> me too we are going to rock this i lost vincent he's disappeared vincent are you there oh there he is there he is okay I, my screen was small. Okay, good. Good to see you. All right. Anyway, so ranking up. You know, can you, can you make the screen bigger, make it a higher percentage so we can see that? Oh, how do I do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you go to, hold on. You should be able to expand it, and then that way you can look around the page and make it a little bit bigger so there it's easier for them to read. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Oh, is it pinning me? It's pinning me. Maybe let me cancel my. 
spotlight? Okay, hold on here. Oh, what's that? Well, I'm using two different monitors. I have a monitor and my screen. Oh. I'm trying to bring, oh, see when I do that, it brings up the other one. Uh, hmm. So what were you gonna suggest? What can I do? I'm looking to see what I see on your page, but there should be a way to look at it with like uh, an expansion. Hmm. Um, I might be able to blow it up. There so you go. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's Did it. That's I see it. it better? Okay, cool. All right. So, and here's why, you know, as you start ranking up and maybe some of you are still, you know, at a brand associate and, but you want to strive to get to a sales associate. So you need to know what you have to do in order to, to get there. So it's three active preferred customers. See, now remember this, and we talked about this last week, a preferred customer does not help you qualify for your car bonus. You have to have 12 distributors, whether they're CEO or they came in for a $25 mark, but you have to have 12 of them in order to um, you know, qualify for your car bonus. So keep that in mind when you're getting a lot of customers. Um, obviously we wanna set people where they wanna be if they wanna be a customer versus you know, a distributor, but so many times, People want to share this stuff. And so I just say, you know what? This really works for you. You're going to want to share it and you're going to want to get, you know, help people um, get some great products and you can get a thank you check or whatever, whatever you call it. Anyway, so the sales associate, this is when you first get coding in there. He did a, gr a great coding training and I'm going to talk about that because um, I think it's really important to understand how the coding works. But anyway, and so here you've got, now you're gonna be getting paid four levels down. <clears throat> and I, you know, I've seen people who have six or seven levels, but guess what? They're only at this rank. So they're leaving all this money on the table and they don't understand. And because they haven't looked at the compensation plan to figure out where they're at and what they're gonna you know, qualify for. But this is when you start your coding. So which means when you sign someone up and you get your quick start bonus, you're also going to get a coding bonus on top of that. So again, $15, not all that, you know, much money. However, if there was $15 laying on the ground, we would pick it up. Right. And you know, maybe a couple, I used to say get Starbucks, but I drink our coffee now. So you don't drink out outside coffee very often, but whatever it is for you, Maybe it's taking somebody out to lunch, right? Or doing something special. Anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to go into this too deeply. We kind of talked about it last week. But at each level here, it tells you it's, you know, perfectly what you need to have. So that's why it's important for you to know what each one of these requirements are in order for you to see what you need to have here. Does anybody have any questions around that? I can't see the chat. So Pamela, you can see the chat. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing coming up in the chat yet. Um, however, I want to make sure that everybody realizes the, the level of generosity that Longevity has for us. If you look across the personal qualifying volume amounts and you see that it's uh, for an associate, it's 50, brand associate, 100, sales associate, 150, senior, 200, one star, 250, and from two star and above, it remains 300. That's a really big deal because then you know that it's just more money in your pocket. So it's it stops at the I two star level. Like fifteen hundred dollars. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so I want you to realize that. And so making that difference and. You know how we we talk about the law of intentions and and um, and what expectations we have. Is that? Are we getting feedback? I'm going to mute. Yeah, you. I'm trying to figure out. There is that better? I muted you. Okay, I think it was me coming through you. Um, but if you can, if you think about it, you want to put yourself in a position that's going to allow you to have the maximum benefit. And so why not? Put yourself to say, I want to be one star executive because when you're when you're doing this and you're building the business, you're going to need to have more product anyway to have a better understanding of what it is that we have to offer. So you want to have a myriad of the different verticals that we offer to use. And so 
that's what I did is I always maintain that level. And then if you bump up to the two star and above, it's only 50 QV more. So if you're thinking about what it is that you're using for you, your family, um, to share, to build, whatever, think about that. Think about keeping yourself at a level that's going to maximize your um, ability to use and share the products, right? Right. Good. Okay. So this is how you rank up. It's all very, I think, spelled out. So if nobody has any questions on that, I want to talk a little bit about coding. And um, so the reason, you know, I, the uh, CEO packs, and, and I think they're going to start calling them business building packs, but there's a lot that we pay out within that. So there's 190 max, right, for the coding bonuses. And then there is, um, plus we get our uh, $70, mm, excuse me, $70 for signing up as CEO. And then the, um, which is our fast start bonus. And then our quick start bonus, right, which is the 30%, 24 paid on your weekly commission. And the other two to 4% is paid on your monthly commissions, okay? Or bonuses, weekly bonuses versus monthly commissions. Um, and so here's how I'm going to, this is how I understood this. And, um, when somebody first explained it to me and you have your, you have rooms that you're coded to. Okay. And you move from one room to the next room to the next room. So as you rank up, you're going to move a room. So when you are here as a sales associate, everybody that you sign up as this rank, once you become coded, you will be coded to them at $15, okay? Now, when you rank up to senior associate, you're still gonna be coded to all these people at $15. But when you sign someone up here as a senior associate, now you're gonna be coded to them the 35 plus the 15. Does that make sense? Okay. So now you're signing up people here, you're coded to people, and then now you become a one star. So now you're moving into this next room. So everybody you sign up under here, you're going to be coded to at 100. Now, my smoke detector just went off. Ken's cooking. I don't know what he's making uh, spaghetti tonight. <laughs> anyway. So if there's nobody, if you just sign someone up, right, as a one star, you're gonna get that 100. If you sign somebody up as a two star, you're gonna get that 140. But as people are signing up people underneath you, okay, and they become ranked up, then they're gonna get a portion of that because now they're a senior associate or a sales associate. So you're gonna get the difference does that make sense? If you personally enroll them, you're going to get the whole hundred. But if somebody else enrolled them, then you're going to get the difference. Does that make sense? Does anybody have a question around that? Okay. And these, and right now, this is for life, meaning once you hit that one star, you're forever coded at one star. Once you hit the two star, you're forever coded at that 140. But what you need to know if somebody ranks up over you, so I, I can use this as an example because Trish is still a one star and I'm a two star. So I get those co codes and she does not, does not, if that makes sense. Because I get 140 of the 190. If I sign someone up, she only gets the 100, okay? All right, does anybody have any questions? So just think about that. You've moved from your senior, your sales associate room in your coding bonuses to your senior associate. So those people don't come along and you get coded to them. They stay in that room. All right, good. Um, and then I wanted to talk about the car bonus because we did this, some things did change here. So I just wanted to clarify that really quick. So the star rank, okay, so he, and you, and I'm, if you have not watched these videos, you've got to go back and watch them and especially watching 
Well, watch them all because you're going to learn something in each one of them from Alex. And he explains it really, really well. But okay, let's say you get to your one star rank in your first month. Now, this is only for people who um, started in January of this year. If you started the year before and you've already ranked up and got a car bonus, then you are car bonus qualified, all the ranks up. But if you're just starting and you haven't qualified yet, okay, or yeah, or you previously were in longevity but haven't qualified yet, okay, either you started in January or you haven't had a car bonus yet. Does that make sense? Am I explaining that good? Okay. All right, so you do one star rank, two consecutive months. All right, you have to be qualified as a one star two consecutive months. Now, if the next month you didn't hit one star, okay, but then the month after that you did hit one star, now you start qualifying for the car bonus. So you have two consecutive months, and then that third month, and it could be a little bit further up, you know, so it might be two or three months later, you hit that third month, now you're qualified for the car bonus, okay? Once you hit that, then, you're then you just need to meet the requirements to get your car bonuses over the next, all the different ranks. Right, and, and our car bonus program is really incredible because we're just paid the money. If you need yeah. to use that for a vacation down payment or doing something, it doesn't matter what it is. Like for example, for us in the beginning, it was a cruise bonus instead of a car bonus because I would put that money away every month toward a cruise that we were going, Andy and I and the family would be taking. Um, then I actually bought him a car, which we've paid off. So now we're kind of back to the cruise fund again. You know? So <laughs> other yeah. places require you to have a particular type of car, a color car. You know, they'll take your car away if you don't make your, your rank or the match the car bonus for a particular time period. And so Longevity is very, very generous in that. And so I want you all to keep that in mind when you think about this. And Marianne talked about this before, that the big difference between the different levels of car bonuses is that the only one that has an extra stipulation is at the one star level, where you need to have um, 12 distributors at 100 QV or more they do not need to be on auto ship. They do not need to be the same 12 people every month, but you need to have a total of 12 at a hundred personal qualifying volume in a given month period in order to qualify you as well as the other compensation plan requirements at that level. But that's the little extra part that you need at the one star level. Okay, so I, here's, I want to show you one thing in your back office, and I've, I've trained on this before, but I don't know if people have seen it. Um, so I'm going to pull it, I'm going to stop my sharing real quick, and I have a mock-up account called Elizabeth Taylor, and I'm going to log into her account, and I want to show you this because it's kind of like a cheat sheet. Pamela, can you just see if we have any questions or anything like that that we need to answer or... Yes, yes, as a matter of fact. Um, I, did, I did want everyone to remind everyone that <clears throat> recordings that we've already done so far, as well as future recordings, will be in two places, mastersofenrollment.com, which is team page, Tom, Tom and Denise Chenault's team page, and then also on my team page, constellationteam.com, where you can find these recordings as well as the book club recordings and so on and so forth. So you can find all that stuff there with some easy access links to the Longevity University. And remember, you can find all of these at longevityuniversity.com in this getting started uh, program section so that you can go through all of this. And this week we're finishing up step five. Next week, we're going to do a combination of chap of steps six, seven, and eight, so that we can, um, you know, wrap this up. And then we're going to get on to. I think are we going to do uh, Scott? Is it Scott Sinek's book? Start with why? Is that the next one we want to do? Uh, Simon Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek. Yes. Simon yeah. Sinek. 
Yeah, let's talk, can we talk about that a little bit? Um, of course. You and I, because I want to start some other things going. And um, anyway, we'll talk about that because I've got some exciting ideas to. Oh, cool. Good, oh, good. I'm excited. Go ahead. Okay, so um, let's see. Da, 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 let's see. Is co uh, D had asked, is the coding bonus on new distributors or new customers as well? And of course, the coding bonuses apply to the CEO packs only. Um, oh, my husband Andy can hear me in the other room. He said Simon Sinek. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Simon Sinek. Um, All right. Right. Okay. Then, so I'm ready now. Let me share. Oh, good. This. Go ahead. Okay, let me share this because I, as several people I've showed this to and they didn't know it existed. So, um, but it's it's a great little cheat sheet is what I call it. Anyway, so in your business, has everybody been in their business center? Everybody knows how to get in there, right? That's where I go like four or five times a day or more. Um, okay, so what I want you to do is under the genealogy, or no, no, wait, I'm so sorry. Under commissions, my bonus qualifications. Has everybody seen this? I, I can see Pamela shaking, but okay. So here is, so you pick out the month and then you can look at it and you can go back in and look at your previous months. So that's really good for me. I like to see where my volume was and some other things on there, right? Okay. So it literally shows you every single, you know, people that have qualified as a sales associate, as a brand associate, mm, excuse me, uh, one star or higher, frontline sales associates. And then right here it says personally enrolled brand associates or higher for their car bonus. And so it'll show you as people start ordering and they are qualifying, right, as their distributor for the car bonus, it will show you right here. And some months you'll have more and some months you'll have less. And we can, we can work around that because we can call in and we can, and I talked about this last week, if somebody's at an 89 and you need them to be at an, at a hundred, you can call in and place an order under their orders. And so each one of these um, gives you, oh my gosh, dinner has arrived. Oh my gosh. Ken says hi. Hi, Ken. Homemade gluten-free spaghetti. Oh my gosh. I love his spaghetti. All right. Mm. Anyway, so um, then it shows you what your lifetime rank is. So if you're wondering, and then it also shows you what your personal volume is. All right. So I've had people go, I didn't qualify. I don't know what's going on. And I say, okay, let's pull this up. And they're like five points off of hitting their rank and so they don't qualify so you got to pay attention here and then this is your you know we do compression here a lot of companies don't do that longevity com does compression so if somebody doesn't order that volume is going to move up and that can help you qualify all right and then it tells you here what you need to have in order to meet a rank and then you're like, okay, yes, yes, yes. And you might get down here and go, wait a minute, I thought I was a sales associate. And then you're like, oh, I only ordered 150, not 200, right? So this, for me, I use this all the time. I'm trying to make it a little bigger here. Hold on. Can you guys see it or is it going slow? Smaller. Oh, look how big it's getting. Up. Anyway, so, you know, you can just look here, am I a brand associate, am I a sales associate? And obviously, as you start getting in these higher ranks, you know, is everybody qualified as a one star? Um, did I hit my 300? Do I have a, you know, I've, you know, I've been at a point where I've looked at this and I was like, are you kidding me? I'm at 7,300. What is going on? Somebody's order got sent back. You know, we talked about that some last week or somebody's card didn't go through or whatever it is. So if you're paying attention early on, then you can catch those things. So you're not in a panic at the end of the month and go, wait a minute, so, you know, something's going on here and now I need to figure it out. So use this as a cheat sheet. It goes all the way down. I am a five star. What? I'm not? Okay. But this is, a, this is Elizabeth Taylor's account, by the way. How many of you have distributors like this? 
They've never, they don't sign anybody up. <laughs> Elizabeth hasn't signed a single person up the whole time she's been in. I'm trying to think of how long she's been in here. <laughs> she's been in here for a while. All right, does anybody have any questions, e even about your back office or anything you want me to jump into? No? Okay, good. No, and I'm looking at the, uh, the chat and I just see agreement. Susan and Brenda Teresa say yes, they're aware of all this, so. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so we're gonna log out. All right, Pamela, what have you got? Oh boy, okay, let's see. Um, we, we covered, I think, just about everything that we were going to cover tonight that I had gone over all the videos. So I think we're pretty good to go. Okay. What do you think? Is there, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, um, no, I'm, I'm trying to think about how the comp plan pulls together and ties to each other. And if, when you, when you keep a copy, like what, uh, what Marianne had done with the screen share, if you can keep a copy of this, um, at your desk and have it be there so that you can understand how this all works and, and be able to see the difference of the compensation earnings between associate where they're only getting 5% for two levels and then be, just by becoming a brand associate at 100 personal qualifying volume that it, it almost doubles. When you think about those things, it's important to understand, like Marion had said, we don't wanna leave money on the table. We want to make sure that everybody is getting the best of this because the whole thing is if we worry about helping them to be successful, then it's going to in turn help your own business to be more successful. And so, right. it, you know, it really should be. If we can help others to, uh, you know, find their dreams, then, um, then, then we can have everything that we ever dreamed for as well. Um, you know, so it's, it's possible. And, and in, um, which book was it? The One Thing, I believe, where we talked about setting, setting, setting um, achievement expectations and levels. So if one star is where you want to be, once you've achieved that rank that you're trying to get to, that should now become your baseline. You should never not be one star again. You, if you're a senior associate, you should never not be senior associate again. And if we think about... Um, the senior associate as being a um, a brick rank, um, you know. Then you know, thinking about that, about how how we need to be able to get through these ranks, and think about how people can achieve that. If we can teach people how to get to that senior associate level as the brick, which we talked about before, the build your brick worksheet. If um, you can help people, if you could become a, a senior associate and become a brick and help others do the same thing, you can build an empire. Because think about that, the people that you put underneath you at that brick rank, which is easily achievable, which is only a thousand QV with a personal QV of 200, a thousand in your entire group qualifying volume. And think about the depth that you can create. You can easily become a one star and above by helping others become senior associates with that brick rank. And so that's where you, your mind should be because sometimes people get freaked out and think that one star thing is, is a very difficult landmark to achieve. But if you can help people to get to that senior associate, you can get yourself and then you can get others to that one star rank. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. help. Anybody have any questions about that part, about the brick rank? Brenda has a question. Did you read her question earlier? What is her question? The 123 credit when you enroll three customers or distributors who purchase a healthy start back um, and also much have one on our order auto ship. Brenda, I'm not sure what you're saying there. Can you, can I unmute you? Oh, you're unmuted. Can you tell us what you're trying to say there? Brenda? Brenda, can you, no. we've got you unmuted. Oh, she was, now she's muted, hold on. No, that was Barbara that was unmuted. Oh, where's Brenda? Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's unmuted okay. now. Oh, just, it was just a comment. Oh, I see, okay, okay. Okay, because yeah, you can earn a credit that will go towards another healthy star pack, but you still have to have your, you still have to have your 
auto ship in. Right. And that's not a coding bonus. That's different. Yeah. That's what, that's where the, I wanted to make sure that, that was clear that the coding bonus is only on CEO packs because yeah. I think that was during the conversation of the coding bonus section. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. make sure you have your people go. Here's what I love about the university. Cause think about this. It's just like reading a book, you know, like when you read the same book, then you guys can have a conversation on the other side of it. Right. That's what this is. You get people in and they, learn what the PV is and the QV and the a coding bonus and the this and the that, so that then you can find out what questions they have and answer those without trying to, exp I have explained all this stuff so many times, it's unbelievable. I'm so excited to have this for people to go to and to share you know, with their people because then we can do our business. Otherwise, we're just explaining this over and over again. Have you had that, Pamela? <laughs> Exactly. And, and we want to create a level of consistency so that we can say, oh, if you go to longevityuniversity.com and go through all of the steps that are there, it really doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it does show commitment. Mm -hmm. It does show, uh, you know, and a person's intentions of how willing they are in order to um, achieve what they need to do. And there is a system there. If people will follow that system, they have a chance of achieving the success of all of the leaders that we have. And so that's what I want people to understand is that if you follow in the footsteps of those who have the success, you will have a chance to have the same success. Does yeah. that make sense? So um, next week, I went through, there, there's a great video, highly, again, recommend you guys watch this. And the next one is getting started right. So getting, getting your team started right. And it's by Yolanda and Raymond Brown. And they, have, they actually refer to a couple books in there, which I haven't read. So I want to get one for sure, which is the truth. Let's see. Oh, no, they did a CD. And it's the truth will set you free only if you want it. So I haven't heard that. Have you heard that Pamela? Has anybody heard that? See, I haven't heard that, but it sounds really good. And I don't, I'm not even sure where to get that. I'll find out. Anyway, they talk about the five steps. So be sure and watch that, which is kind of a reiteration of what we learned in the very beginning. But now they're talking to the, to your person, right? And going, here's what you need to do. Here are your Five steps here, how you, oh, maybe on there. Yeah, it could be on Dr. Wallach's website. And, and by the way, Yolanda and Raymond Brown are recognized for the incredible leadership that they have. They're down in uh, Loveland, Texas, and they have the greatest retention. Sugarland. Sugarland, I'm sorry, Sugarland, Texas, right. Um, they're down, um, they have uh, the greatest retention because of the way that they build the team. And so they're great leaders to follow. They're just wonderful, wonderful, kind people. Amazing people. That's, yeah. And so that's, they're in step six. And again, six, seven, and eight for next week is about getting people started off right so that they will know what they need to do in order to find the greatest success here in longevity. Yes. And Cheryl Morley is in the next, um, their step what is it, six? And then Cheryl Morley is step seven, and I'm in the middle of watching her video, so I'm really excited because I haven't seen this one before. So, all right, you guys, we're done a little bit early. I'm going to indulge in my gluten-free spaghetti. I'm so excited, but I want to thank you guys for coming, and I really appreciate you, appreciate your commitment to you, your business, and your team. Hi, Vincent. All right, love you guys. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Woo! Thanks. Thank you. God bless everybody. Have a great week. Thanks, ladies. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.